Isn't that right? And Moses was already trying to tell us in the fourth chapter of the book of Deuteronomy, but we missed it. He said, if you look, all those people that tempted God at Bel Pure, God cut them off. He said, but you notice know something? All of you are alive this day. Who did what? Who cleaved, who joined, who attached themselves unto the Lord. That was Levi. They weren't the only tribe living, were they? Important for us. It's important for us. Isn't that right? At Revelation chapter 7 and verse 1. Book of Revelation chapter 7 and verse 1. Amen. Listen to the book. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor Neither on the do sea. What? To wind. Nor on any tree. Yeah. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, yeah. saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. You hear that? Stop everything you're doing until I serve the seal. He want to put a seal in the head of all of God's servants. Listen. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. Like who? And there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Out of all the tribes of the children of Israel? Come on. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed twelve thousand. Yeah. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed twelve thousand. Yeah. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed twelve thousand. Yeah. Of the tribe of Aser were sealed twelve thousand. Yeah. Of the tribe of Naphtali were sealed twelve thousand. Yeah. Of the tribe of Manasseh were sealed twelve thousand. Yeah. Of the tribe of Simeon were sealed twelve thousand. Yeah. Of the tribe of Levi was sealed twelve thousand. Yeah. Of the tribe of Issachar was sealed twelve thousand. Yeah. Of the tribe of Zabulon was sealed twelve thousand. Yeah. Of the tribe of Joseph was sealed twelve thousand. Yeah. Of the tribe of Benjamin was sealed twelve thousand. Yeah. After this, I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, yeah. of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Hold you, God. Give me Revelation 14 and 1. For all these so-called, well, you got to be a Jehovah witness, because you're not y'all witness. Yeah. Jehovah is a fictional name. Yeah. So, of course, they can be Jehovah <clears throat> witness. God only going to save 144,000 people. Let them tell it. Let them tell it. This is the 14th chapter of the book of Revelation at verse 1. Some of these dumb church of mice. Ain't that right? Or church of rice if they're in China. <laughs> Ain't that right? Yeah. If yeah, they're over in Mexico, church of rice and beans. Listen to the book. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. And with him, an hundred forty and four thousand, yeah. having his father's name There's written a, in their foreheads. Forty-four thousand, having their father's name written in their forehead. Come on. And I heard a voice from heaven, yeah. as the voice of many waters, and, what happened? and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. Listen, and this church of Mike telling you, you know, it's a sin to have instrumental worship, have instrumental music in worshiping. What did you hear, John? And I heard the voice of harpers. What were they doing with the harps? Saying, we need to put thee down. You know you're not supposed to have instrumental worship in the house of God. They're in the kingdom of God with it. Harping with their harps. This had to be sin, according to Church of Mice. Listen. And they sung, as it were, a new song so before the throne. So they had the harping going with the song. They sung, as it were, a new song. Tell me about these people. And before the four beasts, and, before the four beasts and, the elders, and the elders, and no man could learn that song, but, who? but the hundred and forty and four thousand, Why them? which were redeemed from the earth. Uh -huh. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. So that makes sense why you got the hundred and forty four thousand. That's not a hundred and forty four thousand no Jehovah with the church. That's right. That wouldn't make common sense. That means none of the women be saved. All the women got to be stupid at their church. The women sit around all them done whole cake up and they sit around there rock around with watch towel knocking on the door. You need to get saved. Say, look here, you a virgin? No. Well, you need to tear that junk up and sit your behind and go get some bigger. You going to hell too. Don't take long to mess them up. They said they were virgin. Girl, Jack got through, you can see her leg out of joint where she had a leg behind her neck. So you know good well this ain't talking to you. <laughs> Ain't 
Now, it don't make common sense. But these 144,000 that he told you that he sitting up for you, he went down to John and told you he saw another which no man could number. They were raped, they were white. So they had him in the kingdom of God. How did you come up with only 144,000 were saved? Wouldn't that make sense when he went down to name the trial? Who were missing? Dan was missing. He named Manassas. That's right. Manasseh was the elder son. Not only that, you forgot Ephraim, Ephraim. who wound up That's being right. ruler over Judah. They wound up being a ruler when it came to who ruled over Israel when Judah was separated. So what are you going to do with Ephraim? What are you going to do with Dan? Listen to what our father told Dan at the 49th chapter of the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 49 at verse 14. Ain't the Lord good? Amen. Amen. Listen to the book. Issachar is a strong ass couching down between two burdens. Listen. And he saw that rest was good and the land that it was pleasant and bowed his shoulder to bear and became a servant unto tribute. Come on. Dan shall judge his people. Dan shall do what? Judge his people. Dan shall do what? Judge his people. So how in the world Dan ain't getting in? How Dan not getting in? When you read it in the seventh chapter, they didn't name Dan. Jacob just said him, bless all 12 tribes. He just told him that Dan going to do what? Dan shall judge his people. We in trouble. You listen to Joe Whitney Church don't teach that. They don't go back and teach that, do they? So there used to be one before then. She a witness to, not no Joe, but she a witness to their folly. They don't go back and get that. What you going to do with Dan? What you going to do with Dan? That ain't going to make sense, is it? How you going to get rid of Dan? So you telling me ain't nobody tribe of Dan going to be saved. All Samson running was in vain. How in the world are you going to teach this with a right mind when you're going to go back and look at the prophecy? Then you got to sit here and debunk the whole prophecy. He just told you that Dan going to judge his people. Mm. That would make sense. My brother, my teenager, who know what Dan's name means? Hands. Hey, y'all leaving that Matthew and Antoine hand? Oh, hold on. We got Hogan. We got three of them. I ain't got any of my other teenagers can tell me. Oh, Austin. What does Dan mean? That's what his name means. Would it make sense to name him judge and he's not going to judge his people? That's what his name means, judge. Jeremy, are you listening? What is your conviction? Are you following what's written? No relying on opinion. I tell you, I'm a true Jew. I find out what the truth is. It ain't going with no confusion. You can call me stranger out my name. Just please don't call me Jewish.